Hey, folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, ATS.io. Looking forward to week 17 in the NFL. Don't forget Adam Burke, the sports podcast he does for you every day. Exceptional information. And I am excited to join Adam each and every Tuesday. Hope you'll check it out. What you're going to check out are these playoff scenarios in week 17. And the NFC East, it all comes down to this. It's been a joke, a punchline, but the bottom line is someone's winning that division. Someone's hosting a playoff game. And we've got Dallas at the Giants, and all of a sudden, the Cowboys are back in it. Of course it was going to come down to Week 17. Dallas at the Giants. The advance number had the Giants three-and-a-half-point favorites. Giants lose three in a row, get killed by Baltimore. Cowboys look pretty good offensively, get the win over the Eagles, knock the Eagles out. And now Dallas is sitting here. Both of these teams, a victory, they go and get together and watch the Sunday night game. And they sit there and hope that Philly can upset Washington and the winner of this game would win the NFC East. That's how insane it is. Nope, no winning record for the division winner here. But all that matters is you get in and you've got a puncher's chance. How about uh, Dallas? Andy Dalton had a terrific game this past week. Really got it going with C.D. Lamb. was having a breakout campaign. Elliott was better, and Pollard's given them a nice little one-two punch running the football. The question you always get is with Dallas's defense. Can they stop anybody? Well, the Giants are not world beaters on offense. The total on this game is 45. Now, the Giants have lost three in a row, but they lose to teams fighting for the playoffs, Arizona, Cleveland, and Baltimore. No great disgrace losing those three games. And Daniel Jones was nicked up. Now, Daniel Jones is back. The Giants, one week to the next. Can Gallman give them something running the football? You've got Shepard. Their best weapon, though, is Ingram offensively. So they're very limited, and there's just no getting around that. But this Giants defense is capable of stepping up in a big way. And if the Giants are winning this game, they've got to force turnovers. Dalton has done a good job protecting the football. Different quarterback, obviously, than Dak Prescott. Not the most mobile guy, although he did scramble for a couple of big gains against the Eagles. Bottom line, he's been there, done that. Interesting game. The winner puts themselves in a position to at least get pizza and wings and watch the Sunday night game to find out if their season's done or they advance. It's like a playoff game, so I think it could be played closer to the best. 45 is a pretty low total for a Dallas game. And I wonder if that total that's posted is correlated to the Giants because the Giants, if they dictate the pace of this game, generally play lower scoring games. But it's going to be intriguing. And if anything, the bottom line is maybe the points are attractive with the home dog because if this NFC East has shown you anything, it was going to come down to week 17. And it may come down to who has the ball last in this game and then who has the ball last in the Philly-Washington game. It's the NFC East in a nutshell, but we're going to be watching.